Yo, just before we start this video, I need to mention that my Instagram recently got disabled, so you have to follow my new Instagram, DrewIsSharon2.0. I'm going to be doing a £500 giveaway when I reach 10,000 followers on there, so that should happen pretty soon, so definitely follow the account so you don't miss out on that. Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and today I wanted to talk about my predictions for legalization, because I get asked all the time, hey, Drew, do you know what's happening with legalization? Do you know anything? Like, you know anything on the side? And uh, I don't really. I mean, I know a couple things and I kind of have like a good gauge on what could happen. So that's why I wanted to make a video talking about my predictions for kind of how I think legalization is going to pan out from what we see right now. Now, I am actually going to do another video tomorrow, which is talking about my ideal plan for legalization. So it's what I would do if I was in charge. But, you know, obviously I'm not in charge. So today we're talking about my predictions for how I think it's going to go. But before we get into that, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Professor Herb. Your Professor Herb have everything on the website from vapes to accessories to liquids to gummies. Yo, if you need any of these, you can get a discount right now, 10% off with code Drew is sharing. So yeah, if you need any accessories or anything along those lines, definitely make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment down below. And remember, helping out the sponsors really, really does help out the channel. And I know a lot of you guys are going to need certain stuff that they have on their website and you can get 10% off with that discount code. So who doesn't want 10% off on something you already need? So yeah, thank you guys and let's go on with this video. So one of the main things people say to me when they ask me, hey Drew, what do you think is going to happen with legalization? When do you think it's going to happen? Like, you know, how do you think it's going to happen? People then seem to say afterwards, oh, do you think medical is going to happen before recreational? And I'm always like, well, you know that medical is already legal, right? And then half the people are still like, what? No, I didn't even know. So if you don't know about that, definitely go on my channel and try and find out the prescription video where I went through getting a prescription myself because medical is already legal. Now medical, people think it's harder to get than it actually is. You need to have been prescribed two medicines in the past and then that's it, you're covered. If your condition is covered and you've been prescribed two medicines for it from the GP, you're good, you pay 90 pound and then you're good. So that's the situation we're in already. We do already have medical legal, even though not too many people know about it. Now, where is this going to go in the future? Are we suddenly going to have recreational announced one day? Probably not, at least the way I see it in my mind. I think there's a few logical steps that we need to go through first before we actually get to that, you know, end all recreational state that everyone wants to be in. So I personally think the next steps are gonna be building on the medical scene that we already have now. And if you'd asked me six months ago, I would have given you a totally different answer. I probably would have said the next step would be something along the lines of instead of getting prescribed a specific strain, maybe you'd be prescribed like a THC percentage and then you'll be able to go into like a store and be able to actually pick out which bud you want by looking at it rather than you know just what the doctor is saying to you which would have been really good but then I actually did speak to somebody on the back end of stuff and I was told that recreational would happen before that was able to happen so that's definitely not happening and in my mind I thought that was the next logical step so seeing as that isn't the next logical step I personally think the next step for medical is allowing medical prescription holders to grow because it makes no sense right now that you can be a medical prescription holder in the UK right now but you're not allowed to even grow one plant for yourself so you know you're being told hey yeah you are allowed this medicine and we respect and understand that you need this medicine but you've got to buy it from these people and we have to be able to make money from it. So I don't think that that necessarily needs to be there. I do think that the next step could be that prescription holders may be able to start growing. I, I do think that logically that will probably be the next step. Maybe prescription holders are told that they could grow maybe like three plants, four plants just for themselves. I can definitely imagine that happening. So I personally think that's where the medical scene should go next, whether it will or not, or whether it even can is a different question, but I think logically Logically, that's where it should be going. And there's actually a petition to talk about this in Parliament right now. I'll leave it in the pinned comment down below. It's probably one of the only petitions that I will actually go out of my way to share and sign because most of the normal petitions for legalization in the UK, they just get taken into the House of Parliament and then they kind of sit there and go, yeah, we're back here with this one again. Um, yeah, we're still no, yeah, everyone, no, yeah, okay, sweet, boop. But I feel like, you know, if they took that into Parliament and said, hey, you know, there's thousands of prescription holders uh, in the UK right now, 
and none of them are allowed to grow themselves, I'm pretty sure that will actually spark debate. So yeah, if you want to sign that, that will be in the pinned comment down there. So where would we go after that? Because we're still not at recreational just yet. Well, I would say that I think the next thing would be non-medical trials. But in saying that, I'm pretty sure these are already going on because I've heard through the grapevine that I think it's in Guernsey, they already have certain trials going on, I think up to like 6% THC or something along those lines. So these trials are actually already starting, kind of. It's not just like, you know, a pipe dream that I have in my head. These trials are starting. So I do think that the next step for recreational is, you know, the government will start doing certain trial things in certain areas to see how the public responds to everything and see whether it goes bad. And, and when it doesn't end up going bad, I think that's when we'll start getting more talks towards recreational. So the timeline on this, how long do I think that this is going to take? Well, I could imagine the medical stuff is gonna be updated in the next sort of year or two. I don't think that's gonna to take too long. Now, when it comes to going through trials and going through the recreational side of things, I think that could take kind of long. I think it could take, uh, yeah, a bit more than a couple years, maybe like five years in total to get everything flushed out. I could imagine that. The only other thing I could see happening in between that time frame is if we start trying to push the Canada model, because in Canada, they have like a whole government system and everything's run by the government. And from a more professional and I guess the government standpoint, it's a lot better to look at somewhere like Canada than it is to look at pretty much anywhere else in the world. And originally we were sending people out to Canada to go look at their model and see you know take notes and and bring notes back to us essentially so i could imagine that maybe people will start pushing for the canada model before then but if that doesn't happen the only way i can really see us moving forwards is yeah prescription holders maybe being able to grow then hopefully uh, some more non-medical trials actually on the mainland and then Hopefully we can see where we go from there. But that is my predictions for how legalization is probably gonna end up panning out in the next couple of years. So I could be completely wrong here. I wanna know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. How do you think the government's gonna do it? Do you think I'm right here? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm missing out on some key information? Let me know because I read all of the comments down there. And also follow my new Instagram, Drew is sharing 2.0 because I lost like 50,000 followers on Instagram. So we need to get everyone back over onto the new page. And uh, yeah, that would be sick. So people remember, hit the like button on this video, hit the subscribe button just down here if you haven't already, because only like half the people who watch these videos are even subscribed. So what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That would be pretty sick. Make sure to check out the sponsor in the pinned comment down below as well. And people, I will see you probably on the live stream later on today at like 9 p.m. or something. So uh, have a good one. Peace.